Okay, so here we go. About three weeks ago, I actually ended up acquiring a certain guitar and I was really excited because it was one of the biggest things and it had a lot of sentimental value to it. It's this guitar right here. This is my GNL S500 Custom Shop. It was the first Custom Shop guitar I ever got. And like I said, there was so much that went into it on why I would pick this guitar. And if you want to know like the specific reasons behind any of that, I'll put the link to the full video in the description. But one of the biggest reasons why I chose it is actually, if you can see right here, it's because of the pickup configuration. It's an SSH, unlike most Stratchlisher SSS, all single coils. And it's one of those things where I've been trying as a guitar player more and more to not be afraid to say that I don't like something. Like, although I think Jimmy Vaughn is one of the greats and he's outstanding and his tone is unbelievable, for my playing in particular and for a lot of the styles I play, a single coil in the bridge has never been able to cut it. So that's that led me down this rabbit hole where I pretty much actively decided that every single one of my strats, I'm going to take the bridge pickup, if it's a single coil, rip it out and just start fresh. So it all kind of starts with this guy right here. This is my Fender Player Series Strat and it sounds kind of like this. <laughs> I've had it for about 14 months. This has been my workhorse. For about six months, it was the first guitar that I picked up anytime I wanted to practice just because it was easy. It was very playable, pun intended. So in addition to kind of becoming my workhorse guitar, this has also kind of become my mod guitar, the guitar that I change things on. Before getting this guitar, I had never changed anything. I had never swapped the pickups. I had never swapped necks. I didn't really see the point. So just as an experiment, a couple months ago, I wanted to take the player series pickups, which were the pickups that were originally in this guitar, and I wanted to see if I changed them, if I upgraded them, if I put the Kunafe pickups, which are some pickups that I saw that Fender put in like their custom shop tellies, would I actually be able to notice the difference? From a Sonic perspective, I did feel like they were a little bit higher output and they had a little bit more character than the Fender Player Series one that this guitar originally had. So I thought to myself, why not do it again? Why not make this guitar exactly how I want it to? Because like I said, I'm purging everything. I'm purging all of these bridge pickups, no matter how great they are. The first step is active removal. Wait, wait, wait. I just remembered that I don't actually know how to do this and I don't actually know how to solder, so we're gonna have to phone a friend. You see, this is my friend Sean, and he happens to be one of the best guitar players that I've ever met in my entire life. He's a literal jazz legend. And a couple months ago, he was the person that I came to when I wanted to do my first ever pickup swap, from the Player Series pickups to the Kunafe pickups. So I decided since he did such a good job, what if I asked him? What if I presented him with a really big challenge this time? All right, so here's the breakdown. Three weeks ago, we put in the Kunafe Sean put them in, he did a fantastic job. Like I was saying, I truly, truly despise this one right here. These two are great. It has nothing to do with the Kuna Face, just the actual setup of just the Strat or S style guitars or whatever you want to call them. Tim Henson apparently has come out with a pair of pickups. I have a theory that they're gonna be a little bit less noisy, not even just because they're humbuckers, because I feel like that's something that a lot of like metal players would need. And then I also have an HSS pick guard. So we got to work and we started on our new project. And as with every new project, there was just this sort of overwhelming sense of excitement with every single new step. I mean, even just taking the wrappers off of some of the parts was super exciting, but I don't think I could tell in the moment just what challenges we might face coming up in the future, but more on that later. I just need to kind of see like what's going on here and kind of like brainstorm like how we're gonna wire this thing up. Basically we're just gonna transfer this whole thing over but like one of these tone knobs we're gonna switch out for this switchy tone knob. I think all this is gonna work out. I think what's gonna happen is we're gonna attach this to the push pull and like this will function the way it's supposed to function and everything else will just stay normal. So we've taken the pick guard off, the strings were staying on, we're gonna try and do this with them still on, and I shouldn't be saying we at all because Sean is the one who is doing literally all of this. Because <laughs> most of like these other single coil pickups, we don't have to like mess with them that much. All right. So now we got rid of this pickup, which has three wires. Now we got this thing, this monstrosity that- How many um, wires does that even have on it? has four. After looking at the diagram, I don't think this is going to be as hard as I think it's going to be. Okay. Um, but this I, thing isn't even like a humbucker humbucker. This thing is like two, like, 
looks like it's like two single coils put together like the, i think the way that this thing's supposed to work out is like these are two different like single coil pickups they just have like two different functions on them yeah we've decided that this is no longer a player plus strat it needs a completely different name so we're gonna call this the player plus plus max tim henson edition with kunafe pickups all right, so now that's working. Yeah. Okay, so you remember earlier when I said we might face some challenges along the way? Well, this happens to be where we face our biggest one. You see, what I didn't know going in was that this particular strap really wasn't meant to handle having a humbucker in it, let alone a humbucker with a thousand wires and a battery. Like we literally couldn't fit everything in. So what we were gonna have to do is, I was gonna have to go home, order some new parts, and then we would reconvene in the coming weeks to see if we could actually get this done. Okay, so here's the deal. I didn't initially give Sean all the right parts, but we've decided to make this into a super, super strat. And we're going HH. So basically what we're gonna do, we're gonna do volume, tone, two humbuckers, five-way super switch. This is the super switch right here. And uh, I'm just gonna follow the wiring diagram and solder this thing up. Time for the moment of truth. Let's see if this works. I've never done this before with active pick. I've done active pickers before. I've never done something this infuriating before with active pickers. <laughs> oh, there's no battery. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It should have five variations. Well, it should have more because there's that push pull switch too. Um, we got sound, but um, let's let's get it installed. Yeah. Um, and then see what there it is. This battery's in the way. So here's what we got. And I basically asked Sean to do an impossible task, which I didn't realize at the time, because like I said, I know nothing about soldering, but we had to put active pickups in this thing. And I don't know if it can clearly show from here, but there's a lot stuffed in here that wasn't necessarily made for an SSS strat like this. And like I said, I didn't even give him really the right parts. So he killed it, like absolutely killed it. Uh -huh. And now- You can still see the- uh... Yeah, you can still see the bump in there. I did not know what I was doing yet, and I did not know just how much went into like turning a strat into a super strat. So now I'm just gonna go home, I'm gonna restring it up, probably clean it, and we'll see how it sounds. And it has like, how many different voices did you say? Too many. Too many. <laughs> and we have the push-pull switch knob, which will make me feel like a cool kid. So let's go. It's time. Let's do this thing. I actually feel like I'm playing different. Like I'm using a lot of higher gain tones and I feel like I'm playing faster, or at least I'm trying to. And I think that's just the placebo of playing a different style of guitar because this feels through the tones like it's a completely different guitar. <laughs> Feels like to call them boomer bands. I'm very interested to see how it'll do, like in comparison to the old pickups. Not just because they're both more expensive than the player series pickups, but they're two completely different types. <laughs> Alright, so here's everything. Here's what you need to know about this guitar and these pickups. This was a process, a long process, probably a longer process than it should have been. And again, that's all my fault for not really knowing what I needed going in. But because of that process, because it took so long, I think that gives this guitar a story, which adds to the sentimental value in knowing how much work this took. And definitely thank you to my friend Sean 
for helping me out with all of this. It was a very unique project, but it really does feel like a different guitar. It feels like I'm playing something completely new. And it might be, like I was saying before, a placebo where my mind is just tricking me into thinking that the neck feels different, but you play differently with a different guitar. You approach your note choices differently, and that's really cool to see. And definitely on all the variations on the voices with the push-pull, I think the, the sky is the limit on what I can actually do with this guitar. And I'm trying to actively think, because I don't know yet, what would be the best live scenario use for this guitar? Like what kind of gigs would I bring it to? So I'm really excited to see that. And if you want to see more of that, if you want to see the continuation of what actually happens with this guitar, please let me know in the comments. But anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. It was so much fun just to be able to take a look at this guitar and to see what it can do and how much I can change it. If you wanna know anything more about the Tim Henson signature pickups from Fishman, got them from Sweetwater, the links are in the description. It's one of the best ways to support the channel if that's something you wanna do, or if you're just curious about any of the gear that I use in this video, make sure to check out those links. Like and subscribe if you had a good time, and most importantly, like most importantly of all, have a fantastic day.